शुक्लांबरधर विष्णु शशिभर्ण चतुर्भुज प्रसन्न वदन ध्यानोपात सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं वरदे कामिणी विद्यारंभम करिष्यामि सिद्धिर्भव मे सदा ये नाक्षरसमाय महेशरा कृत्न व्याकरण प्रोक्त तस्म पाणीन नम वाक्यकार वरुचि भाष्यकार पतंजलि पाणिनी सूत्रकार प्रणतस्मी मुनि वागर्थवृक्त वागर्थ प्रतिपत जगत पितर वंदे पार्वती परमेशर ओ शाति 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 हरि ओं श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओं So we're looking at this Rik Shabda. So we can we can continue. We can do the homework, and you can feel free to unmute and let me know if you have any questions. So let's quickly just review the Rik Rich. So Rich being our mantra, like Rik mantra. So one one Rik or Rig. Richo, Richaha, Richam. Rechau, rechaha, recha, rigbiam, rigbi, reche, rigbiam, rigbiha, rechaha, rigbiam, rigbiha, rechaha. रिचो हो रिचाम रिचि रिचो हो रिक्षु हे रिक हे रिग हे रिचाओ हे रिचा सो दिस इज राइट वर जस्ट डूइंग द दैट एडिशन ऑफ वर एडिंग द सुओ जस्ट टू इट So let's chant uh, the suo just together, just to remind ourselves of that. Om suo just am ot shas ta bhiam bhis. Fourth case, ne bhiam bhas ngasi bhiam bhas ngas os am. Ni os sup. Okay, so let's. So just what we were seeing in the last class, right? So the one one is is a bit funny. We can look at that today, how it's formed. But you either get these two forms, of rich or rich. So you get both of those there. So it can be rig or rig. Sorry, rig or rig. So, and then and then what we see in three two three three four two four three five two five three that cha becomes ga, and that's by jashtam sandhi. We'll, we'll quickly look at that again. And then seven three rikshu. Seven three is a bit more complicated. I think it's honestly just better better to memorize seven three. <laughs> just rikshu, right? We get that shu. So let's let's start with the homework, and then we could come backwards and look at the forms a little bit more in detail, and we can go a little bit further in Sunday from there. So there are a few more people that joined. So, but we'll 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 still do that. Well, okay. So 
we'll look at some of these homeworks. I haven't written them out in detail, but we can talk about them and then you can see wherever there's any issues, okay? So first of all, just, you know, when we're, when we're looking at these sentences, we obviously wanna, we, we, we can write it all in detail or we can just look at it briefly. So here we'll look at it briefly, right? So, Prayujyate. So prayujyate, right? It's the third one. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about what it is. We'll talk a little bit more, but we know it's going to be, you see that te, so it's going to be third one. And then you know vak. Vak is going to be from vach shabda. So vach is, vak is one one. So vak, vacho, vachaha. Vacham, vacho, vachaha. Et cetera, ityadi. So the question was, how do we get prayujyate? How do we find the datu? You know, and I honestly haven't found a good way of searching datus online either. <laughs> so do you have the datu document? Let me share that in the chat as well. So that's there in the chat. You can open that up. It's it's uploading. Basically, you'll see you'll find this document, and if we start from the beginning, right? This is the Datu Kosha. Okay, so Datu Kosha. It's a little bit um, kind of unwieldy, but this is honestly, I, it's still kind of the best way. So we see. Prayujyate. So you can write, you see prayujyate, you see that there's like a pra and a yuj. So there's the upasarga and then the datu. So that upasarga and datu, you won't find in this first section, right? You have to go to the second part of the book. So these are just datus by themselves, right? These are all just datus by themselves. But if you use that document, you can all the way go down to there's a second half of the book, starting here, right, starting page 64, where you'll see glossary of roots with the prefix. Okay, so datu plus upasarga. Then we're going to go in alphabetic order and look for yuj. So So yuj, so this is page 91, so I see yuj, and now I see pra yuj, right? So this is yuj datu, seven yu, plus pra, so pra yuj, and then I see the first meaning to use or to employ. Okay, so there's there's a lot of different meanings here, right? It, can, it really can be any of these, but... Um, you know, this, this works in this case using the first one. Okay, so let me um, switch screens again. So this is, so Prayuj, I just searched from 91. So Vak Prayujyate. So this is, Prayuj, meaning to use. Now this, you see the um, yakara and atmanepada. So this is latlakara, then karmani prayoga, third one. So something is used. What is used? Vak. Vak means the speech, right? The word. word the word is used. A word is used. Or sometimes vak can also refer to speech. Speech is used. Saha vacham vadati. So we're picking up our verb vadati. This is vadatu 
one P. You can say it along with me. Latlakara, Kartari Prayoga, Pratama Purushaha, Ekavachanam. So this is he, she, it speaks, says something. He, she, it says, or speaks. But now we know we look for our one one, our one one in this case is saha. Right? So saha vadati. He 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 speaks. He speaks what? Vacham. Vacham. So su o jas um o chas um. So you said that two one. So vacham. So he speaks the word. This is like from the Bible. He speaks the word. <laughs> that, that's there in the Bible as well. But um, so, so that's our sentence, right? So let's go to a little bit more complicated sentences. Let me know if there's any particular you can tell me in the chat. So, number five. Okay, number five. Ritvijaha, Bishagbyaha, Binnaha, Santi. Yeah. So, Santi, right? You see that anti, so we know it's going to be third three, but let's go, let's go in order, right? We know it's asdatu. As means to be. And because it's to be, it's 2p. <laughs> so as 2p. Latlakara. Kartri prayoga. Third three. Patama Purusha Bahu Vachanam. So something, some, some people are, or something, some things are. Okay, now the tricky thing. So, Ritvijaha, Bishagbiha, Binnaha, Santi. Now, if we look at the word Ritvijaha, so Ritvijaha could be. One, three. It could be two, three. It could be five, one. It could be six, one. Right? So there can be a lot of different options. Um, because we're looking for a one, three, let's see if it fits, right? Ritvijaha. So Ritvijaha is Ritvig Pratipadika. Sorry, Ritvich. I'm sorry, Rit. Uh, Ritvij Pratipatika, ja, so Jakaranta Punlinga. This is, um, let, we're going to say it's Pratama, pr Pratama Vibhakti Ekavachanam to Santi. What does Ritvij mean? It means a priest. Right? A priest. So the priest, oh, sorry, sorry, this is not one, one, this is one, three. Sorry about that. One, three. Pratama Vibhakti Bahu Vachana. Because it has to match, right, with the verb. So the priests are. Yeah, it could, it could be feminine also, I believe. So this, this could be feminine. I think that's my own uh, gender bias that I said the priest is a man, right? <laughs> so that is a bias, right? So the priests are binnaha, binnaha. This is actually an avyaya word. It doesn't, it doesn't decline. I, I believe so. I'll have to check up on that. But binnaha means different, right? 
So the priests are different. No, no, binnaha does decline. It's binna shabda. So akaranta, and and here it just matches the the uh, gender of what's it's it's qualifying. Pratma vibhakti bahuvachanam, right? So binnaha, so the priests are different, different. Bishagbiaha. What is a bishak? Bishaj means a doctor. So they call Dakshinamurti Bishaje Bhava Roginam, a doctor of the disease of samsara. So Bishagbiaha. So when you get the word binna, binna will give you the fifth case, different from the doctors. Okay, so this is Bishaj Pratipadika Jakaranta. This could be masculine or feminine. And this is Panchami Vibhakti Bahuvachanam. And this is a non-karaka vibhakti connected to binna. So the priests are binna, different bishagbiha from the doctors. Okay, so let's let's move on. Let, let's come back to some of these exercises. You can look at them briefly, see if there's any more. But what I want to do is, is I want to look at a Sandhi rule of why does rich become rik or rig? Okay. And it, it I think it's interesting. <laughs> I hope, hope you'll find it interesting. The answer to why it becomes rik is because of this sandhi called kuttwam. Okay, so you can open up your sandhi book, keep your book one open to where we were, but we're going to open up the book to kuttwam. So look at the um, index. We're in the um, consonant ending sandhi, and you're going to look for number two where it says kuttwam. The, the sutra is 8230, Choho Kuhu. Okay. Now, we're not going to look at this rule fully because we don't need the whole rule right now. We only need part of the rule. Okay. The part of the rule that we need is this right here. This is page 63, if you have the physical book. So you, you see that this is there. We don't need this for now. This will come um, later on. What we need is, is this right here. So we'll just focus on this for now. What it says is when Chu is at the end of a Pada, then it's replaced by Ku. Okay. When chu is at the end of a pada, it gets replaced by ku. Okay, what is chu and what is ku? <laughs> we sound a little bit nuts. <laughs> chu and ku and, you know. All right, what is chu and ku? So chu is chavarga, meaning that whole row on the alphabet chart, starting with cha. So, cha, cha, ja, ja, nga. Right? Do you feel like you're in 
preschool again, right? Cha, cha, ja, ja, na. Okay, that's chu. I remember I would, I used to take Gujarati Sunday school classes and we would break our head. What, ta, ta, da, they all sound the same. <laughs> Now I uh, now I appreciate that there's big differences between them. Okay, so cha 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 na. When this chu is at the end of a word or a pada, then it gets replaced by ku. Ku is ka ka ga ga na. Okay, and this rule, um, this part of you know the sutra, the sutras is is they go in order. So be, this this will often because it's eight two thirty, you'll get this before other sutras. Anyways, here let's let's look at where it's relevant. Right, we saw vach plus sa, right one one. That pratyaya sa su o jas su becomes sa. As we've seen, that sakara when when preceded by a consonant, it just goes away. That one one sa goes away. So then we're left with vach. But because they have been added, right? This is a pada. Okay, before, this is just a pratipadika, but because the pratipadika is added with this pratya, with the suffix, then it becomes a pada. Now I have a chu at the end of the word. Because the chu is at the end of the word, I replace it by ku by kutton sandhi or choho kuhu. Now, how do you know what replaces what? Ka replaces cha. Ka replaces cha. Ga replaces ja. Ga replaces cha. Nga replaces nga. Okay, so just in order. It's as simple as that. So let's look at ritvij. Ritvij plus biam. Now I have a, this, you see this, the, all those in Bhyam, Bis, Bhyam, Bhyaha, Bhyam, Bhyaha, that whole section. You know that whole section I'm talking about? And Su, 7-3, and 7-3 Su. That whole section is called the Pada section. What that means is that gives the anga pada status. Okay, it gives the anga this pre this it gives it pada status. So meaning that this ja is chu at the end of a pada. Right? I have chu at the end of a pada. Okay, and ja gets replaced by, right? We look, ja gets replaced by ga. So, ritvig bhyam. Okay, so let's go back and look at this a little bit more in detail. Okay, don't, don't worry about all these. I know it's not very neat. I'll explain exactly what we're gonna do, okay? So we have rich, right? We have rich plus sa, as we were just seeing, one, one. The sa goes away, right? Because it's that one, one, it, it, that's, that's, that's pretty standard, right? Now I can do this kutvam sandhi, eight, two, 30, and I have a chu, at the end of a pada, and so it gets replaced by ku. So rich becomes rik. Okay. 
Now we're at 1, 1. See, 1, 1. But now it's not over yet. OK? Now the next sutra can be applied, Jashtam Sandhi. What's Jashwam Sandhi? Is when I have a Jal at the end of a Pada. Okay, and these have to go in order. They have to go in a specific order. So first this will get applied and then we apply this, okay? So I have a Jal at the end of a Pada. So what is The easy way of remembering this is that if you have a hard consonant, it will become a alpapana soft consonant in the third class. Okay, so what does that mean? What does that mean is that it goes from being hard, this is the hard consonants, and it goes to being in the third class. So, ga. It makes it soft. Okay, so it just goes to ga. So now I ritvik, or sorry, I did rik, and now it becomes rig 8239. Okay, so this is just, this is, if you're like, why is this relevant to my life? It, it's probably not, but, <laughs> but this is, you can enjoy, you can just, you can just enjoy it, right? And, and then I keep talking about these sutras over and over again. At some point you will remember, okay, jashtam sandhi means it goes to third of the class and becomes soft, right? Kuttam Sandhi, when I chew at the end, it becomes cool, right? So these things we're just going to keep repeating, okay? So now I've rig. But it's not done yet <laughs> because there's two choices, right? By the way, the same thing happens with Vach, right? Uh, sorry, Vak. Let's see. Sorry, yeah, vach. So it is vach. So vach will kind of will go through the same thing. So vach will then become vak, and vak then will become vag, but we're not done yet. Okay. Then there's this 8456 that comes in. <laughs> and what it says is this is called vavasane. Va avasane. Va means it's optional at the avasana. If there's a, if there's an absence of a letter or a full stop. If there's nothing after the jal. If there's nothing after a jal, then it optionally becomes char. What is char? First class plus the sibilance. So that first row, ka cha, right? So that whole row, that whole first row. So now rig becomes rik. Okay, let me show you what I meant by that. So So char, char is this first class, right? So whatever the jal is, it will become basically one of these first class or it can become a sibilant, right? But we had vag, now it's going to go back to the first class, it's gonna be vak, okay? So what we did is rich became rik, rik became rig, rig goes back and becomes rik. <laughs> But we have, because it says va, because it's va, it, there's optional. So it's rig or rik 
or vag or vak. Vak or vag or rig or rik. So that's where we get rig veda or rik mantra. Sometimes you see either rik veda, you know, so it can be rik or rig or vag or vak. But the original is rich and vach. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is why yeah so anyways this is this is this is how sanskrit sunday works um a little bit more simpler is is when we do rich plus byam right because this is in the pada section this gives the pada status and then you have chu at the end of pada it becomes chu gets replaced by ku, so it becomes rik plus byam. But then jashtam sandhi. So kutam sandhi, then jashtam sandhi. Jashtam sandhi is it becomes soft, it becomes third of the class. So ka becomes ga. It becomes that third column, right? So rig byam. Okay, and seven three we don't need to worry about. It's a little bit too complicated. We don't we don't need to get into it. But it becomes finally rikshu, right? You can appreciate how cha becomes ka by chohukuhu, and let's just simplify. Like we're just gonna ignore that there's all these middle steps, and then the sa becomes sha rikshu. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm moving around this page a lot. So does anybody have any questions with, with, with these? You can just go ahead and unmute yourself. So it's vach, vak, or vag. So the word is vach, right? One, one would be vak or vag, optional. You have two choices. Then you get vag byam vag bihi vag byam vag bihi vag byam vag bihi. Then you get vakshu vakshu kashu kasha kasha. So vakshu. Okay, let's let's look at one more part of this exercise before we go on. Actually, let's let's just decline some of these words. So the word here is twacha. What case is twacha? Can you tell me in the chat? Su so, oh, just um or shas. Ta <laughs> you see that ah so that's three one yeah exactly three one su o just um o just ta bhyam bis so that ah so ta cha so three one Anubhu, anubhu means bhu and anu together means to experience. To experience. So the pot is experienced twacha by the skin. Okay, what case? Ritvijay, su, o, jas, um, ot, shas, ta, bhyam, bis. Ne biam bias. <laughs> so 
So the word is toache. Yeah, we see this here, right? This A. Fourth case. Right, so we get Ritvije or Ritvije. So that A for one. So Devadatta Ritvije Dhanam Dadati. Devadatta gives the money to the Ritvik, to the priest. Okay, we'll finish with our, we'll finish here and we'll transition over. Om Shanti 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 Hi. Hariri Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha. Hariri Om. So a great homework would be if you haven't done these exercises to, to keep doing them, or if you feel like you did it and you weren't having difficulty, so review these exercises here. And, and try to look at, just quickly, try to follow along with what it says in the book about these Sundays. Okay, and you'll have this video to look over if you need any help.